for joining us. Now, communion and confirmation season is just around the corner. And while all the focus will be on your little ones, mum wants to look her best for the family photos too. Stylist Emily O'Donnell joins us this morning with her top picks for mum on her child's big day. Good morning, Emily. Good How morning, are you? Good morning, ladies. I'm good, thank you. It's a busy day for parents and guardians if they're preparing for their, their little one's special day, communion or confirmation. So I guess you want to feel comfortable, but as Anna mentioned, lovely in all the photos. That's very true. It's certainly a day where you want to bring in a bit of respect. You're going to be in a church and the focus is going to be on the child and often a lot of the family's budget may have gone into the child's outfit but equally the mothers or the aunties or godparents do want to look chic and they want something affordable that they're going to wear again and I've got a gorgeous selection of clothes here today which are all from iClothing.com and I think you're really going to like them. I think they're really really nice and suitable for the communions and confirmations and if you buy early you're bound to get something better. Okay so lots of ideas. We'll start with Kerry Nicole. Yeah Kerry Nicole is out first and she is wearing this gorgeous outfit. I love a bit of colour and I think it's the one time for a communion confirmation to stay away from all black. This jacket is actually really interesting because it's by a brand called Mark Angelo and they're actually an Irish brand. Eye clothing do endeavour where possible to support Irish brands which I think is important and I just think it's nice to have your shoulders covered in the church and to wear something cute. It's styled here with this gorgeous black cami. This is one of Eye Clothing's best sellers. And the interesting thing about a lot of the pieces that I'm showing today are they're available in different color combinations. So do have a look. If the black isn't for you, there's lots of different varieties available. I started with the cute color pop bag because you don't want to be going into a church with like Paddy 40 bags with your big bag that you bring <laughs> everywhere during the week with all the loot in it. You might just want to have your phone so you can take some pictures, some tissues, maybe a prayer group, and this is just perfect. The favourite thing that everybody loves about this look has to be the skirt. And again, this is by another great brand called Darling, which I clothing stock. And I just think this is really chic. We've seen a lot of pleated skirts at Milan Fashion Week. Victoria Beckham has a lot of them in her Spring Summer 2019 collection. And I just think you're getting a really high-end designer look at a really affordable price. And just a cute pair of court shoes, something comfortable that you can stand in, because it might be a long day. Um, is the pleat small enough or narrow enough that it won't add the extra inches? Because I'm, yeah. I'm conscious of that around the waist sometimes. Mm -hmm. The trick with pleats is if the pleats go down, they're going to elongate, but stay away from accordion pleats because if they go that way, so they just are, widen every single thing. So are you thing. going to? Yeah, that's the thing. Okay. Now I absolutely love this look. As you can see, I'm a fan of suits for my clothing, mm -hmm. but this look is particularly special because it's actually from Vera Moda's Aware collection, and this is a collection that's made of 100% sustainable fibres. So people have become a little bit more conscious of their fashion footprint these days. I certainly think documentaries such as The True Cost on Netflix have made people kind of reconsider where they're buying things and where they're coming from and consider their fashion footprint. And this is a perfect example of something that's sustainable and chic. A white suit is really, really, really elegant. I think ever since Bianca Jagger wore one back in the day, I've been a fan. Mm. And I think it's perfect for a church for a restaurant it's going to look really nice in photos and it's not going to be something that you look back and think this looks dated this is going to look classic in photos and often with occasions you do have to stay away from things that are too trend led because it mightn't be in and that photo is going to be on the mantelpiece for a few years and talk so, to us about the shape of the trousers because this is kind of we're seeing lots of cropped legs yeah we are but these are unusual aren't they're they they're kind of maybe a little bit lower than a culotte pant but the nice thing about them is they're well lined and they're quite loose as well you don't want to wear something tight or bodycon i don't think to something like this something that has a religious element to it so i think these are a really nice alternative and they're comfortable as well if you're going to be going for a meal you don't want skin tight trousers you want something you can sit in and styled here with this cute cami the necklace and again a great pair of nude shoes from eye clothing it's really 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 striking and really chic and the interesting thing about bestseller who made this suit by Vera Moda is they're endeavoring to make all of their fashion produce carbon um, friendly by uh, 20 years so they have a 20 year plan in place so I think that's really going to be the way that we see a lot of fashion going so for the person who wants to be sustainable and chic this is 
on point. And also plenty of ladies out there don't want to wear a dress. That's and it. Trousers, yeah. a jumpsuit, culottes just, Yeah, are I option. think um, yeah. separates can be really versatile because you can style them up in so many different ways. But if you are a dress lady, this is a beautiful dress from Mark Angelo. And it's $64.95, which is a great price point. And it's also the type of thing that you can wear summer or winter style differently with tights. The beautiful thing about this dress as well is it's bang on trend. We've seen a lot of florals on the international catwalks. And another trend that's really big for spring summer 2019 is uh, things that look like paintings so art meets fashion and I think this kind of ticks those two trends really well and just a cute clutch bag to add a little bit of color is really nice and I know Laura we've spoken a little bit before about how navy can be more flattering than black on skin tones and this is just going to look really nice but again it's high neck so it's respectful you don't want it all hanging out and a really really nice length I know uh, the gorgeous Audrey here is probably a little bit taller than most people but it should come down to in around uh, the knee or below. I like the shape of that mm -hmm. and I think it's probably an easy dress to wear. You don't even have to worry so much about jewellery. No, Pop that's it on the and thing. Off you go. Easy to wear and very versatile. You'll wear it again. And it's nice as well that it is by Mark Angelo, which is an Irish designed and made thing as well. So that makes it a little bit more special. And if you are pregnant, I thought they do actually have a maternity range as well. I know we're not showing them today, but that is something to bear in mind. And they have stuff for kids too. So if you want to kick the rest of the family out. And your own suit, Emily, that I was complimenting. My own Suit you is about eye clothing. Eye I clothing. actually love this. This yeah, might gorgeous. not be going back tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfect for a communion or confirmation. Isn't yeah. It? Exactly. Yeah. And I'll style it up a different way and wear so it. So you're going to stay else. with us, Emily? I sure am. Three more gorgeous looks coming in part two. Brilliant. Lovely. Thanks, Mel. Let me see you later Thank on. You. Thank you. Now, still to come, I catch up with one of the best actors of his generation, Rafe Fines, at the Virgin Media International Film Festival. Was he lovely? He was lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait to see that. Very charming. He's a nice person. Yes, yeah. he is. He's a, a nice yeah, person. A nice person. <laughs> He's a nice man. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> Ireland's Got Talent is a real-life Billy Elliot in the form of dancer Fionn McMorrow. He'll be stopping by, so see you in a few. <laughs>